Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the World Super League career mode. Uh, this episode we're going to be continuing with the start of the second season, hopefully signing Nathan Ake up, where we face Cologne, uh, trip to Germany where we actually won last year, uh, Swansea City at home in an all Premier League tie, um, I should say all English for a second, fucking of course the Welsh, <laughs> silly me, uh, uh, Seville at home follow in the League Cup, so it looks a really tough game that actually. And uh, hopefully we progress after an absolute epic extra time win against Lokomotiv in the last round, 3-2. We, uh, we drew the first league game at uh, home one all with Fenerbahce in the last episode. So um, I don't think we were ha harshly treated there. We we, did, we didn't necessarily boss that game, but we were the better team. So hopefully in this game we, uh, we managed to get back. Uh, to win in form in the league uh, say back to win in form hopefully we start winning form so it will be our first win but Cologne are going to be no easy task they uh, they won our league last year league 2 and um, despite the fact that I said we beat them in Germany they actually beat us at Dean Court the last time we played 3-1 so they have some danger man Timo Horn's in net he's going to be hard to get past Andy Modest is uh, fair top scorer for the league last year, I think. So uh, there is Timo. So they are going to be tough to get past, but some more new signings have looked solid so far, thankfully. And uh, hopefully that continues. This guy in particular, Sadio Berahino, who's uh, pressing Sorensen there. But they've got it away. You know, it's come out to Risa and Jojic. Sean Dolkovsky. Looks for Sarko. Well done, Andy. Kristen soon just seized out. Sarko stayed down actually. Modest was looking for the header. Lucas Klosterman saw it out, I think. So it's going to be the corner whipped in by Jojic. Uh, who's on that? Get on that, George. Uh, second attempt by Rudnevs. Well, it's gone wide. And Benoit will kick out. Gives it to Lucas. So Klosterman finds Tim. On Fosu. Nice work, son. Finds George. He's fed in Mings. Really Tyro on a run. Oh, there was no runner, really. Side though, I was waiting for him to go. He didn't quite make it. So, I was wondering when he was going to call for offside. I was like, what the hell? Let like them run with it. George. Done well again and waiting for the right time to feed in the ball. And Styro Mings, he give it to Sido. Sido, cuts inside. Fucking penalty referee. Oh no, Modest. Getting in, Rudnevs. Back to Modest. She had a lovely ball through to Hoga. Back to Anthony. Not to Rudnevs. Jojic. Oh my god. Lightning strike, but side netting. So they actually won their open game, Cologne. Uh, I think all three promoted teams, um, off the four, you know, we being an exception, actually won their open game. So they all hit the ground running. Hopefully we join them here. We could do, because Sido, Sido finds the back of the net. Get in, Sido. He has been dynamite since he's come in. Absolutely lethal. And he's carried on with that run. Klosterman celebrates with me. Might well have got the assist. Someone just kept running. Who was that? It's fed over to Sido. He's just absolutely whipped it across. I think it was the assist by Klosterman. He's number 16. Um, if you caught last episode, I did say that I was looking at changing the numbers in between episodes. I actually forgot to do that because I've literally recorded about the last three or four episodes back to back. And uh, I just hopped straight in there, forgetting. So. I will remind myself to do that soon um, and sort that out because it is a bit annoying uh, the numbers right now. So Rashford goes for a bit of a pot shot, but we've actually come out of a corner off it. Happy days. So that's whipped in. Timothy! Oh, lucky Tim. In the words of uh, Kevin Keegan, no, I'll love it if we beat them. Not much of a rivalry at Cologne, but they did win the league last year. So uh, it'll be proving a point, I think, that we've improved better. Oh, Ricky. Oh, I went for the strike. 
on the new signings, of course. We've got a free. Oh, Slovy had a down by Rudnevs to Jojic. He's gone for a brilliant ball back. Look at that. But ben Costa was out and alert quickly. He's given it to George. He's fed it to Mings. George, this is the danger area. This is where we want George. Look at him go. Look at the pace. Does he unleash his hell? It's George. He's given it to Rash. He's done well to get it back to Berahino. Saved by Horn. And out as far as Jojic. The struggling to handle us. As George has won it back. Ah, oh, George, you passed it wrong. Well, we're all over Cologne right now, though. But as we get higher up, we get more and more men off the pitch, and we're susceptible to this type of break. As Risa keeps hold of the ball, it's the Hoga. It's a great ball through to Rudnevs. Hoga. What's a ball, that is. It's safe. Ben well. And George has kept it in. Go on, George. That's Tyrone. Nice work by Minx. And he's giving it away, though. To Mavraj. Berahino and Rash are going to pressure these. Come on, boys. Two moves. That's Mavraj. Tarkovsky. Oh, and Tep is there again, though. Now he's got it back. And Tep. Terrible ball in, but Yuri's made something of that. And he's got it back. Tielemans. Right, so far this game, Tielemans, uh, none of the plays really been up this side, but yeah, it's nice interplay there with Rashford. Jojic, this ball's killing me. Oh, Antonio Modest, it's a side now. So they certainly are looking dangerous on the break, but the vast majority of the territory is seeing us pressing them high up in their third. And uh, if we carry on this way, we are going to create more chances as Ntep picks out Mings, who's constantly got acres. Now it's Berahino. Saido. Oh, he just keeps going. He doesn't give a shit. Berahino. <laughs> this guy is lethal, man. I love him. Got on a free and a 15k wage from West Brom. You know, barely a dent in our budget at all. And uh, he's at the ground. Absolutely sprinting like Usain Bolt. So um, elsewhere, um, well, there's no point. I I'll leave it for now. You know, the league will take shape about five, six games in. So then I'll start looking at teams that are around us and how they're getting on. Uh, our objective, by the way, is to actually avoid relegation in this league. So it really is kind to us. Uh, you know, if we hold this, we'll be on four points off two games. All right, he's going some to stop that, but we've got to stop Cologne threatening there. Oh, Lucas crossed him on. Oh, dang right, He's run out on the end, but he did so well to cut across. Throw it to Hector. Leo Bittencourt. Just whipped it in, but Costa was on. And that shit. He looks for George. Nice header back for George, who has settled a bit last few games after a well, pretty honest first one. Ricky finds Klaus the Mar. Oh, Klaus the Mar for the cheeky ball into Rash. I think it was Yuri Tillemans actually. Sorenson. Yeah, it was. Um, Ogre, it's to Hector. He's got a look back for Hector, I'm guessing though. Instead, he's found Modest into Woodnevs. Nice little back heel to Jojic. Oh my god, wow. I thought I was that's covered that by uh, Andy, but Modest just stuck out the toe. But there they're out by Yori that. But we didn't get out. Get raid, lads, come on. So we're going to go throw short to Rash. Wait for Tielemans to make the run. Here is Yori. He ain't got a lot of pace about him, so. Now. Might be waiting for the pass. Oh, it's Elemans. He did well to go past Hector, but. There's man cover. Bit caught. Oh, he gave Fosu the chance to get on that shit. It's Ricky. Looks for side, though. Oh, there's a man just in front of Berahino who can get past. I think originally the pass from uh, Sapanara is actually really decent. 
and well weighted. If, uh, if only the slight obstruction hadn't been, but Hoga gets it out. Here's what it is, Colonna on the attack. Risa has just turned me there, and he's fed a lovely ball through to Rudnaus. Can Andy stop him? No, oh, Klosterman now can though. George, what the hell? That right, wasn't his fault to be fair. It was whoever fucking just stood in his way, the penis. The frail to Telemans. Just coast past his man, it's driven so good. Yuri. On on he goes. Yuri. There's a ball on. He's fed Barahino. He's given it to. Oh, I think it was Rash. Just a quick check on the clock, and there's 20 minutes to go. Oh shit, right, we're gonna have to make sub soon. It's gone quicker now. Realise this game. Hector. Piece of interplay between the two. Lucky Lucas. Hernandez is on this shit. Oh no, no, he hasn't. He's just been elbowed off it. Perhaps unfairly, I thought. Mings gets rid though. George sees out. To Fosu. Let's play Tim. Let's find Jory. Lovely ball through to Rash. Cross coming in now. Well, the ball oh my word. Sakanara is almost there. In the the defender got there first though. That's a great Good tackle, Mings. Mings, get on that. Well done, Taro. Might well be dropped this episode for RK if he does come back, but Mings is uh, impressed. Oh, Yuri, absolutely poleaxed as he looked for the return ball then. So I was about to unleash Rash. Upon Cologne. Yeah, you know, Joe just comes on. The best. Hoga. Oh, Bittencourt's touch was enough to take him past the man. Well Timothy's dealt with that. Oh, Hernandez into Telemans. Yuri's just rowing in every position. This is a nice little free roll for him. Stays like this. Mings found George. George with a nice ball through to Klosterman who can win it. And Telemans has found Rash. We still got it. Sido. Sido. Oh, safe by Timo Hall. Wow, really? It took till the 86th minute to get a, game, a pass going. Thankfully, we've got a week until the next game, so it doesn't really matter much, but. I don't think any of the subs are going to have enough time to get a real rating. Um, we'll bring Peña Ander on over Ian Acho because he has only had about... A, I don't know, to be fair, fuck this shit. I'll bring Ian Acho on. Ian Acho's only had an hour. Peña Ander played two hours, thinking about it. Last game. So, uh, Katabia can come on as well for George. And then... Um, Fosu's going to have to come back on because Klosterman is a real danger of getting injury actually there. So uh, despite the fact he's got fatigue, we'll, uh, we'll give Boris another appearance. I'm looking to uh, train this guy up because his potential is really high. So we have a corner in advanced position. Andres! Oh, saved by Horn. Oh, it's fair to arrive, isn't it? Look at Tabia. Should really volley there, though. Why didn't it? Oh, they've won the header. It's my best. Rudnevs. Oh, don't Boris. 17 years old. And it doesn't show because the performances have been solid so far. Fosu. It's Kalechi. He's fed Rashford for the run, but doesn't matter. Get the win. Um. Pretty good win, uh, as you can see, we did deserve it. They, they had 52% of the ball compared to our 48. We had eight shots at their seven, four in target at their two. Our pass accuracy was 92% as well, which is pretty solid. So, um, The first game against Feyenoord, uh, Fenerbahce, sorry, and the first half against Locomotive, our pass accuracy was really poor. I think it was like 81, and the opponents were bossing possession. They still have possession uh, advantage on us then, though, but... That was more like it, you know, it was more balanced. Performance wise, Barahino got another match, no surprises. We got an 8 5. Klosterman got an 8 3, thanks to his assist. The next best rated were tied between George, Costil, and Fosu. 
uh, with Telemans slightly behind. So, uh, good performance all round for the boys. Not spectacular, but good. Um, elsewhere, uh, as I said, I'm not going to look too much into the scores at this early stage, but just looking at the British teams early on then. So, Swansea won, uh, Newcastle lost, Wofford lost, Stoke won. And that's it, I think. They're the only British ones in my league right now. I know there's West Brom. Uh, clearly, they won or drew. So, I carry on with these training. I think it's Pulisic, Penaranja, uh, Boris, and Cruz. And, well, that was a training session to forget. So, I think it might be time to do our little next five bonus shit. I am going to do that. So, I'll redeem that for our Skull Future Star. And uh, Boris. And I think I'll put the Skull Future Star on two of them actually from now on, then, uh, from doing, seeing as I'm doing a five. And maybe take Pulisic off. Uh, we've got a transfer offer for him, and this will be a loan, so yeah, he can go to Forest happily. Not to Forest, currently in uh, Germany, I think. So the one of the Youth Academy guys have gone. Uh, we do need to make space soon because I think we're facing. Oh shit! Right. I've just completely forgotten. Uh, as you can see, Ake has accepted his contract. Get him. So Nathan's back. So that's all our signings done now for the window. Have you scoff report? Um, I said shit just before we got this back uh, because I think I realised that. I didn't actually send the German guy back. This is six months in as well, so this is going to be the last Scott report from Argentina. Benito Velasquez, his overall is really low, but his potential is pretty high, so he could be a potential. Same with Telmo Nunes. But the overalls, I can't see past. You. It's getting to the stage where people have to be really good to be fair to get near our youth academy. And the people, the high overalls, the likes of this guy, um, the potential is not quite reaching the 90 bracket that some of the others are. So I'm just going to leave Argentina for now. And uh, of course, now that I've finished that, um, the only pending uh, sign and player who I have on loan right now players, sorry, are Pulisic who I have to wait two years for I think and Fosu who have still got a year and a half left so I don't actually need any more cash this year anything else is just going to be like a bonus so I might as well just uh, go on the budget take the wage right down um, you know, when it comes to uh, December I might sign more people up but I think the large part the players that I really want I do have on over a year budget then with that budget I can send a couple of scouts off um, like I said I think I have two staff now who are waiting to go out sure enough we do so let's, uh, let's go someone new I've got a guy in France right now I'm going to send a guy to Holland so we're going Dutch six months trying to get ourselves a, a new Van Basten or Bergkamp or some shit uh, I've already gone Brazil I've gone Argentina they're actually both disappointing to be honest so uh, we'll try why not go to Colombia six months get ourselves another Hamez or a Falcao or something so uh, they're both off there Then this, there's no way in hell I've done this, obviously. Reduce player wages by 17k a week. We'll fail that. But, uh, the other medium one, I think we're, we're going to do that. The brand exposure. I've already done that one. The league position, we're currently 10th, but we've got four points to start with six, so. Um, that's a surprise, actually. Clearly, a lot of teams have started nicely. So there must be about three or four teams on zero points right now, thinking about this. Right? So early days, they're the teams that are ones to watch. Sassuolo, Galatasaray, Stoke and Lille. Galatasaray, Stoke and Lille all got relegated from the championship, I think, last year. So you would expect them to be up and around there. 
in the bottom, Marseille, CSKA. Uh, it's a, yeah, as I said, I predicted actually there are a lot of teams. There are currently six teams who've lost both games. So um, the league table is deceptive. Four points, you know, we're only two points off these boys. And uh, reality, we're tied with Fenerbahce, who are fifth. So I think we've made a good start here. With uh, a draw and two wins, one in the cup. We face Swansea next, two have won one, lost one. And uh, two places below us. Transfer off of a cargo, let's be alone. I'll accept that all day because we have Steve Cook and Ahan in reserve. Then uh, potentially some Youth Academy products still to come up, uh, don't forget. So if Seville in four days, uh, three days time, I'm more focused on the league. I will field something of a, I'll just accept this by the way, from Hearts, from my Butcher. I will field something of a weak inside against Seville. Um, still hope we get through, but it's going to be really tough, that one. So yeah, focus is on the league, as I said, this one's a big one. Now, I have a call to make here, because David Romano, I think, has played better than George. So George did look promising. I'm going to stick David. I'm going to keep him starting. Fuck it. And uh, Barahino cannot be dropped right now, so... We've got to keep Ian Atcher on the bench, I think, right now. Um, yeah, I can say as it is. So, oh no. It's a lie, right. Arcade's back, of course. So what happens now is we're going to sort this out as well. As I said on the previous ones, I'll usually put players I'm not going to use so much more at the bottom, which is sort of, it's like hierarchy up here. The guys near the top are closer to the subs in proximity and uh, in my thoughts. So is going to build his way up here. Uh, Sven. Who is going to get game time? Sorry, Mings can come in like that. I think Mings can only play it. Left back, actually. So, actually, from the bench, it would be beneficial more so to keep Boris on because he can play both positions. You know, just in case one of the fullbacks is getting tired. How old is Boris these days? He's still 17, so. Four star week four. This guy's solid. He's going to be so good. So that's Swansea City in real life right now. It's currently 17th in the Premier League uh, as we are approaching mid-October. In this one, uh, I think League One is was the right league to put them in uh, on that basis. They'll probably all finish in the third quartile of the Premier League in real life, I think, you know, from 10th to 15th. So um, last season, they showed that. They stayed in the league. I think they finished something like mid-table. I did check all the other Welcome leagues when I'd finished mine. So, they should be weaker than Fenerbahce, but stronger than Cologne. So, we're about to find out. Um, they're going to be no mug Swansea, but I do feel like we should have enough in the tank to potentially beat them here today. The Sido picks up the ball onto Yori. Great tackle by Jack Hawk. It's Frank Tabernou. Montero. That's a core. He's twists and turns, oh, he's done us there. Guffy Sigurdsson, who's the danger man, he is still there. I, uh, I'd hoped he'd have sold him by now. David Jomano's given it away to Rio Affair. Cork. He's playing side, but and he's dealt with it well. Here is Ake, on his return. We had him on loan all last season, Ake. And, uh, I did run him back. Uh, didn't expect to pay as much as it did to be fair but um, he is pretty solid uh, Jordi Amat just panicked there cleared it thrown by Klosterman look for Rash oh my god that did not work out I mean the the runners the options it gave me were like both five a side of some guy who looked proper close it was Jefferson Montero we played that out well though it's Christensen's come on oh what a tackle like this by Tabernou 
So Sassuolo away top, of uh, equalised against Marseille away bottom, I think. Uh, early stages, but Sassuolo may well be one torch as uh, we chase down Angel Rangel. Borgia. Swansea, similar to how they do in real life, playing a real passing game here, and that's proven soft to stop. Fair went through. Well saved by Costello, that's been solid so far. And uh, thankfully, for us, they've run that out there. So, cross them on. Telemans. Clear foul. Come on, ref. So, Jordi Amat has had a pretty dodgy start to the game. Picks up the Bokken. And we David. Feeds Arke. Telemans. Cross them on. Oh my god. Lucas, that was a decent effort, mate. He loves going forward, Klosterman. I've never known such an attack and right back that I've had on FIFA. So, like, I really can't wait till he gets to, like, proper, like, 80 odd level or something. Because he'll just be insane. He'll be in a penalty box more than he's in a R half. Klosterman. Here he is. Yuri. Well, by two Lemons. Found Ricky. Wants a David. He's going to wait for RK. RK okay, to Ricky. His touch wasn't great, but it's enough for Barahino. The affairs beasting it now, look. He's got across. Sigerson, Borgia. Finds Cork. And Montero is going to wait. Finds Cork. The tackle, whoever that was. And Christensen sees it away to Timothy. Tim, play it. He has done. What a ball that was by Tim. It's Saido. Who's there again? He can't stop. Perihino cannot stop scoring. That's his fifth goal, I think, or is it fifth in four games? He scored in every game, I think, Perihino. There he goes. All about the ball by Fosu Mensa, to be fair. He saw it early. Fed it in inside on his weaker left foot, I think. Let's just rifle that past. And there we go. We've continued our record of scoring in every game this season. And it's Bournemouth 1, Swansea 0. At Dean Court. This one's a look to respond with Sigurdsson. Puts it side. Cannot let Sigurdsson get the ball from range. He can unleash hell. There, Hernandez gets the ball. But he's a lovely ball through to Davi. He's fed on Ricky. Okay. Timothy. Nice pass, Tim. To Klosterman. There's a runner there. It's Rash. What a touch that was by Rashford. He's going to whip one in. Oh, every time I do that type of cross, it goes behind the man. Yeah, it's Lloyd Dyer. Borgia. Uh, yeah, I really need to practice me uh, crossing in from the wing. Frankly, I play so I don't really sort of play that style of football, so it doesn't actually happen that much. The situations arise like that. I tend to sort of pass it amongst the midfield, back and forth, and uh, try and work an angle, but... Um, we should have made more out of that, really. Now it's Swansea. Trying to do the same with Montero. And Cork. Cork's found fair. Leroy. Great block, okay. Probably brought him back. Fosu. Yeah, looking for Rashford again. Well, I'm not stout with him. It's a Tabernu. Montero. Cork. Well done, Fosu. It's unfortunate though, it's a good tackle and it's only going as far as Montero, but Klaus the one's there again. Like he so often is. Yes! Goal kick. Well, I was uh, preparing myself for a corner, I'll be honest. So it's Ake. I switch to play here to Telemans. He's just going to stand there and wait, wait for a runner. There we go. That's Klaus the man. And he can give it to Rash. Who has pace? There goes Rash. Cut inside Rash. Oh, too much. So Van der Horn finds a map, now it's Cork, Montero. Not really going too many places, Swansea, he's sort of... Going sideways really right now, to be honest. One sideways pass, then one forward pass for Swansea really. It's been the pattern. But elsewhere, um, as I said, this early stage I'm just going to focus on the English clubs. Uh, Stoke lead. West Brom are trailing, Newcastle are drawing, and there was one more, Watford are drawing with St Etienne. So, we're the only ones running right now. 
We're uh, repping England. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Turn the battle between England and Wales right now. We uh, currently lead 1-0 against Swansea City. It's Borgia. Key. To Gilfrey, Sigurdsson, to Lloyd Dyer. Good tackle, Dabby. That's why you're starting, mate. Was good progress with this attack. Oh no, okay, he's been done with that first touch by Key. He's fed it back into Dyer. Well done, Andy. Christensen has been solid since we got in. Timothy. Can't quite wriggle his way out. Said it's Borgia. Oh, Sasso all over decking it now. They look like they're set for 9 points out of 9. Good start for them. And Gal Rangel. Danger here, danger. It's going to be a goal. Oh, it should have been a goal. Costell. Fuck you doing, lad. That was not the most convincing of clearances after the bar. But, um, God knows how we're, we're still 1 0 after that, to be honest. I'd consign myself to the goal after a brilliant cutting pass. Incisive from Swansea. Just waiting for the run here, Romano. There we go. Oh, Frenchy got one. Run for the pass. But lost them all. Fosu. Again, where's the runner? I'll try this. Almost. My side out. So, with Severe. On the way, uh, we'll try and make an L sub um, if we can. So I'll take Yuri off, bring George on, swap him for David, both in the preferred positions now. Uh, Sapnara, I think I'll use against Seville. So bring Cartabria in, and uh, again, I'm going to play it a bit wild card here and stick Romano in camp. Lewis Cook, I don't think, has played much this season, so. Um, uh, what to do? Right. I feel like one of these guys does deserve to come on. Ian Astro's not played much. All right. I'll just start these two against Sevilla. So, Cook can come on. Or Fosu. So, RK with the throw. Find side, though. Many thanks. He's twisting and turning Saido. Oh no, God, Saido. He did everything right, then the, the pass was easy really to Rashford. I could not find it though. Now. Here he is, Marcus. Oh, He's been caught there by Frank Tabernou. It's Montero to Cork. Key. A Borja. Rangel. To Dyer. <sighs> you lucky son of a bitch, Dyer. So close to catching him out there. And that would have been like four on three, I think, though. Oh, and again, they're just well, turning me at the right times. And that's right, excellent football by Swansea. Might have to slide in. He's twisted and turned me. Shit, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's clearly offside, to be fair. But, um, too often, they're, uh, they're getting me a penalty area and just having time to just stand there. Well, I can't get near them. Oh, four on to Sass. They do look dangerous. This early stage. Pretty much who the teams near the top were from about five, six games in in League Two last year with their all season. So if that pattern recurs, then it is looking like it's shaping up uh, early. With the likes of Stoke, Galatasaray, Sassuolo. So Swansea is definitely looking more dangerous this half on the break. I need to uh, keep it a bit steadier. Oh, Saito. Lovely play. Oh, he looked for the ball back. And I think it was uh, David who just bounced off one of their players, really. Good play back. Sigurdsson, well done, well. okay. Fed a ball up to Lucas Klosterman. He's going to feed it on again to Fed. Go on, Fed. Lands a nice ball to side, though. And it's David. He skips past his man twice. David. Oh, he's still going. 
Well, between him, Fed and uh, Klosterman are creating something there. Give it back. Lovely ball, Klosterman. Katobia. Great play. Rash. Oh, it's a save by Nordfeld. Well, that was more like it. We haven't really shown much of an attack and threat, actually, in this game, aside from our goal. But that would have been a lovely goal. This could be, though. Oh, my God. Great header by Rashford. It's just hit the guy's foot. And uh, it was only about a foot or so from going over the net, actually. But no felt gets to it. Is there twice we could have gone 2-0 no ahead and put the game to bed. So it's instead key gets to run down. Sigurdsson's asked too much there. And Andy's dealt with it. He finds Klosterman who's on his wrong side here at left back. But this is what he can do. Look at him go with his pace. He just keeps running. He's found Rash. Oh, Rash. Not quite finding it as easy as he did last season, Rashford. But um, it's been all about Sido, really, isn't it, so far. Lloyd Dyer. Lorente, he must have just brought on. Sigurdsson. No do Barrow. He's got a lot of pace, but Nathan Ake is just so calm. Mate. He's literally a back heel bit away from him. Back track, dip back. So, uh, final whistle. Uh, this is the second time in a row in the league we've actually won 1 0. Um, after the opening game, 1 all, as you can see, we actually, compared to previous games, we had very few chances. We had two on target, one of which was that header late on. Um, four shots in all. Swansea had three shots and two on target, more possession, uh, more pass accuracy. So, it was quite a balanced game. Uh, the 1 0. Win though is a uh, really welcome. It's hard to create chances against them. Man of the match went to Fosu Menta, who uh, only played an hour actually, so it showed how well Tim if he played. Uh, Barry Hina got an eight as an uh, honourable mention for the second, and of course got the winning goal. So, uh, oh right, I was going to check who got the assist. It was Fosu Menta. Um, remember it being a particularly good assist. So elsewhere. Um, West Brom lost, Newcastle drew, Wofford lost, Stoke won, so Stoke and Sassuolo have perfect records, and so did Galatasaray. They're all um, going pretty good guns. Lille did have a perfect record, I'm not sure how they got on there, we didn't check. So I said last time I was going to take Pulisic off and give it to the Scalfridge star, because from now on on the training drills we have five... Uh, Torino sessions like this where they are one. doubly Western effective Champions. you're getting double uh, the points so um, a cam we're results, looking at maybe Arondo Hard definitely vision and short pass and me that up and that has a lot to go to improve so sixth, praying for a few A's here in seventh, that will do sixth. that's laughing that CBB DC. So there we go, Cruz and Becker have both gone up in rating. Uh, Boris is already 65, just 17. Really, really does look like he's developing into a quality player. So back to France with our Youth Academy prospects. Good guy is 50 to 66. His potential's not out there, but. He's, uh, he's worth signing, I think. Only one month in that one. Uh, so, oh, we on three months there. I think I set them all for six months. So, we'll, uh, we'll let them get back with some other players. Certain ones will be turned down, like this guy, for instance. But, uh, yeah, all of us can go. And we continue to grow. We're at 78 on our player rating now. So, um. I think I know what it is. It's because unlike last year, on the objective, um, I mean, obviously we're doing well in the league as well, which helps. We're currently sick when we have to avoid relegation, but on the financial thing last year, it said, uh, if you recall, if you've caught any of that series, it said, don't let it go over 20% the increase. Um, we had it on something like 54% all series. So basically because it was constantly above it, we were constantly failing that. So we would sometimes go down and rate. Um, this 
will not be reviewed until the end of the season thing because it says reduced player wages by 17k a week there's still a potential for us to do that um, we're not going to do that of course but the game doesn't know that so I think it's not sort of going to review this until the end of the year rather than a constant year long review so as a result it's going off these um, where we are doing well in the league and this where we're doing quite well for brand exposure um, we've already done a youth development so yeah it's just constantly on the rise and i think before long for the first time in the whole series it will get above the 80 start so i'm going to be heading straight on as we sell another player who's this that's uh, matt butcher he's got a uh, that's gone to heart so we have half a mil extra added don't mind that at all because i was never going to use him let's face it Buying around Jordan Benzema talks. Oh. They're still the top deals. Alcacer and Mustafi to United and Chelsea, and uh, Firmino to Atletico Madrid. Uh, some other deals there. Capiru's gone to Hoffenheim. Decent sign. So it's the uh, best team we've played this season so far. Um, I just need to double check actually. Oh well, <laughs> funny enough, we have Hoffenheim coming up. Um, so it's four day break until our next league game i think it is worth playing a few first teamers even if they're say at 80 percent fitness then I'm not taking hoffenheim lightly by any means but i, I quite fancy giving severe a game here if if we have a, a few first teamers i think we could possibly do so so come on let's take down severe they were in the top division last year, they actually got relegated, I think. I think they finished 19th, just ahead of Leicester. However, um, we did knock Fiorentina out of the cup last year, who were in the championship. We also knocked Sassuolo out of the Czech trade trophy, who were in this league, and of course are doing so well now. Uh, we beat Sassuolo comfortably, actually. So, I'm glad I've just remembered that, because that's uh, give me extra encouragement. So oh, where's Ake? I still not got him naturally starting. Uh, I don't think he's going to any. <coughs> I pulled, uh, called Cardenas up and offered him a contract in the hope that he'd play last cup game against Locomotive, but he signed the next day. So it's risky, but I will put him in for his debut. 18 year old keeper from Argentina. Uh, Argentina. Pretty sure I just called him Argentina. <laughs> so um, yeah, Cardenas comes in. And uh, to be honest, I'm going to change the two strikers, of course. I'm going to win Cook in and Katabia, but that's it. I'm, uh, I'm keeping some first teamers in. Sapanara and Fosu can stay on. I'll keep a few of the guys on the bench, actually. So Romano's been starting. I'll get him off for Pulisic. He's looked decent. Ayb hasn't featured yet, so he can come on. But it's it's getting good now. It's starting to get to the point now where I'm starting to really debate over and bring it on because I like so many options. And uh, this is when you know your career mode side starting to get pretty strong in all areas. So yeah, having a bit of that now, but I think I'm happy to go with this setup. So I'm just gonna have to put my phone back and charge so it's like had off for a while. I've just realised so skip this shit. Yeah, uh, it's back now. So let's get ready. It's our first cup game at home, I think. Um, in the League Cup, I'm pretty sure both games last year away I said we beat Fiorentina, we beat. Um, should we beat another team? Um, we, oh, maybe not. But yeah, so we beat Fiorentina first round last year, who were Championship, and uh, they actually did quite well in the Championship as well. We got beat Bayern to Milan, who ended up finishing second and are now in the Premier League, so there's no shame in that. Seville 
are sort of similar ability to Inter on this file so far, I'd say. So it's going to be a, another task, but then we get a good measure of see how far we've come and uh, how well we could potentially play. As folks who wins the ball, it's Ricky. Looks for Iannaccio. Oh, Peñaranda, lovely play, boys. Ricky. Oh, he's been tackled by Tremolinas. Should have just banged it, really. I think the David Soria, the keeper, pulls it, picks it up. But I'll tell you what, they fed it risky there. Come Dali, Tremolinas. And Zonzi. I tell you, it's as well, it's a strong team they've put out here. I don't think every first team is on necessarily, but. Yeah, I've got some really good players on here. Vitolo, for example, starts at an 82 on this game. He's on. Ben Yedder is rapid. He's tricky as well. Struggling to get off him. Yeah, I've done that though with Timothy. It'll be a, it's a real throw high up the pitch. Vitolo gives it back to Ben Yedder. He's done it. He's whipped the ball in. And both the cooks get rid of it. So Fosu's who's gone for the ball over the top, he's found it as well. It's Kalechi, who's in behind. Kalechi, bang it. Oh, what's a save, I saw you. So it's going to be Ricky with the uh, corner. To the centre, Peñaranda. Oh, it's David Soria. Fevitolo short. Let's keep this pressure up, boys. Get on Tremolinas. Oh, he's just about got rid of. Look on Daly. Back to Crown Daily. A bit of a wild slide in there by uh, Sven, I think it was. What a ball that was. Well dealt with. Now Ricky sees it away. Oh, nice play from Fed. Oh, he's been caught by Mikado. He's won it back though. Well played, lad. Sepanara. Looks for your nachos. Well headed out, though. It's not as far as Nzonzi, now Bora. Vitolo's running down. I think Mings has got the pace with him, but nice turn back there by Vitolo. He's found Mikado. Well done, Lewis. And so well there. Uh, so Lewis Cook's fed that off at the right time as well there to Ricky. Ricky, there's a ball on. Right, Inacho, feed it again. It's it. Oh no, I don't believe it. I was tapping shit out the circle to go for the tackle, and uh, if I hadn't, Sapanaro was through when I won. Um, as you can see, two of the Seville players sort of got in each other's way, then did what I so often do, and uh, sort of fell over each other. Sapanara had so much time to go and collect that ball and take it. What a pass that is, though, to Penyaranda. He's going to bang it. Well, that is woeful, Peñaranda. He's uh, he's not played many minutes so far. I think the only time he featured, he played all game, including extra time against Locomotive. But uh, he hasn't really exactly looked dynamite so far, unfortunately. But still early days, of course. Um, win now. Well done, Lewis. We'll give it straight to Bora, though, unfortunately. Bora now to Ben Yedo. Oh, boring Banyada smashing me here. It is Banyada. Banyada. Oh no. Well done, Cadenas. On debut. First bit of action for the lad. So, calling off Matt Crone Daly to whip it in. Cadenas is there. Yes, mate. So, Andy gives it to Peñaranda. There's a lot of pace. I'm going to try and use it now. Look at him go. Peñaranda. Peñaranda, looks for Iannaccio. As Tremolinas comes away with it. It's a good ball by Tremolinas to Crown Daly. He's found Vitolo, looks inside to Cruz. Nice football by Seville. Oh dear me. Oh no, Ibarra, what a play that was. Peñaranda! Oh dear me. Well, that was such a good goal. There's not much you could do about that, to be honest. Ibora's touch there was brilliant and a little pass back I did not expect. And, uh, Andy finished there from Ben Yedder. Fortunately, 
Cardenas could do nothing about this. So it's going to be a tough task to knock these out of the cup. Um, we did come from behind to knock Logan out without last round though, so I still believe. And of course, we do have a few options on the bench, but Boris has given it away there. He's won it back though. Go on, Boris. Persistent from Boris. Ricky. Ricky, is the ball on? Oh, Cruz intercepted just at the right time from Seville's perspective. He was about to unleash Peñaranda. Well, half time whistle goes. Um, one else is available. Elsewhere, there are some big, big games I was talking about last episode, as you can see. Uh, Man United lead Barca at the New Camp. Liverpool leading Fiorentina. Uh, Milan lead Real Madrid 1 2 1. So, well, Barca and Real both currently heading out. Schalke playing Leicester. Leicester winning 1 0. Uh, Middlesbrough are drawing with Paris Saint Germain 1 0 right now. So, Middlesbrough who are in League 2, don't forget. Fair play to them. Uh, they're, they're sort of the biggest teams playing amongst them, but plenty of solid games there. And uh, hopefully we can join them if we can get a goal back here. But Wesson Banyada's goal has been the difference so far. And yeah, before long I will be looking to bring on a bit of extra firepower that we have on the bench. Cook. Iheanacho. Nice cut back by Iheanacho. Still going. One of them. So free kick there, an advanced position. Lunkalachi. Ricky's standing over this shit. What's his accuracy like? It's not as good as Tiedemans, but unfortunately Tiedemans is not. Uh, well, it's the best of the bunch. It's going to have to do. Um, these guys are tiny. Let's go for the shot on here. Oh my word. Went for it. David sorry with the save. It wasn't a bad effort that, there wasn't much power on it, but the direction was perfect. Ball in. Lucky lads. That'll be another corner. So let's switch to receiver. We're on Kalechi. He's going to ask for this. In the centre. Kalechi. No, it's Katabia though. Fed. Oh, saved by Soria. That's going to be keepers. Sorry, again arrives. Not really sure who he is, but he's had a decent game so far. It's Ben Yedder just hoofs it out. Better start to this off as we continue to pile on the pressure. On to Penyaranda. Tim. Great ball, Tim. It's Kletchy. Kletchy. Oh my god, what a goal that would have been. Oh, and it's left. He just cut across. Unfortunately, it yeah, just grazes top of the bar. There. Pretty sure I've just pulled the muscle in my neck. <laughs> my excitement, so I'll have to be careful there. Getting a bit too giddy with chances. A real life injury playing FIFA. That'll be a uh, one. So, yeah, I'm sort of straining it now. Hopefully, it's not too bad. And uh, folks who mentor has been taken down himself by Vitolo there. Half our mark left, so I um, think it's time to bring on the reinforcements. So to speak. So Lewis Cook can play CDM. He drops back. We're going to bring George on. We're going to bring normally bring Rash on, but it's it's been Sido. He's been the beast so far. So Penyaranda's going to be dropped back. And uh, again, normally I'd have used Yuri, but Christian Pulisic. Um, you know, it's only the League Cup. It's not. It's going to be gutting if we get knocked out to a degree, but. It's not one of our objectives, so I'll give Pulisic the game time while we still can, because yeah, it looks like we mightn't be in this competition too much longer after this. Hopefully the subs change that, because my subs really did change things in the last game. Oh, that was a decent ball by Mings. Oh, we've got it back here with Kalechi. Oh, Kalechi. Look at that, he looked for the run of Berahino, he won it again now. Yeah, Oh, what a strike that was. The pace on that. Straight to Soria, though. He gets rid. And I'll look slightly near post here. Keeper again. Get to the free kick referee. What can I do? I've like stood there. He's just bounced off me. 
You are kidding me. What are you doing, Seville? Fuck it up. So let me go as a bass back. That was just like bitch move by Seville. Oh my god, they brought kind of anchor on. The danger man. I did not expect him to starve him. Pretty sure in real life they sold him. But um, I didn't do the squad updates at the start of the fire, so he is still there. And, uh, he is their best player by far. So I need to be wary of him on the break, but right now I don't need to be wary of George because he's done well here. Found Kalechi. Kalechi's been tackled. It's time to go. A lot of attack, I feel. So that's Ben Yedda gives it to Vitolo to Zonzi. Vasquez. Great tackle. Well done, Cook. Oh my god. I wasted that big time and I know it. I knew it as soon as it passed. Well played, Tyro Mings. George. Giving it away. And Mikado gives it to Vitolo. Good tackle that Christian. Way through here, probing away. Presented possession to the opposition now. Oh, Boris giving it away. Munoz, what a touch that was by Kanapanka. This could be it. Well done, Cadenas. So, this could be an opportunity to actually just gamble. I'm gonna send Ricky up. You can see on the bottom of the radar there to go along the shit out of this. It might work out because he's got it now. Here is Ricky. Sido. Looks for Ricky. I'll get past Mikado. Fuck this guy. Oh, God. Nearly tackled him there with Sido as well. Well, instead of Vasquez. He's fed a wonderful ball there through to Conopianca. Nice turn by Yevon. Munoz. Oh, it's a great ball. It's a Vitola, what a block that is, Tyro Minks. And uh, Cardenas did well to keep it in as well. Nice touch there by George. Look for the return now. Didn't quite find it. But there's acres here for Seville. As I go for it. They have the chance and a break. Ricky Sapanara. Oh my god. Uh, we're out of time. Oh, you lucky fucks. Again, there's a few times they've just passed amongst the back and got so close to being like Kamikaze, where from Seville. Hit straight against Dianacho, it's come out for him. Uh, Vasquez whips it in. Oh no, on as far as Nzonzi, Navatolo. I think that might be it, four minutes out of the time. Might be one more chance, because Tyron Mings has come out with this. Someone run. Tyrone, still going. He loves it, Tyrone. Oh my god, no way! I've just fed it over. I had three players in acres up there. I do not believe he's blown the whistle there. I mean, the odds are I'm not going to score from there, but you know, what the fuck? Ah, so, identical to last year. Um, we win our first round cup tie. Then uh, get knocked out by a team that's one of the better championship teams in Seville in the second round. As you can see, um, we did have more shots. We had seven to their four. We had four on target to their three. They had more possession, as you'd expect. Their pass accuracy was 92%. You know, there's not much you can do when they play like that. Um, but I do feel we were hard done by there, not to get to extra time at least. I don't think Sevilla did much. You know, when they went 1-0 up, all they really did after that was pass sideways. So elsewhere, Barca did get knocked out, and Real did get knocked out as well. 4-2 actually, Real Madrid got beat. Champions Bad. Cup. PSG came through in the end, Liverpool went to extra time with Fiorentina. Atletico Madrid, we're winning against Bilbao. Leicester led at Schalke as well, so a few big teams out there. Uh, most notably, of course, Barca and Real. So that is it for the episode, though. Um, as we head into the Hoffenheim game, we're sixth in the table, which is a pretty good going. A dec decent start, I'll take um, every day, you know, seven points out of nine. 
Simic Car just moved to Liverpool. Did I read that right? If so, that's a terrible move on Liverpool's behalf, I think. Alright, Tyro Mings is moaning again. Um, oh shit, this is the danger as well, actually. This season, because um, we're in League One, what happens is in the third division of England, they still play. So, if we still have a game due in this time, we'll have to do without all these players. Sapanara, Christensen, Arta, Fraser, Penurando and Pulisic. Pulisic is American. Oh. I, uh, I assumed he was German, actually. That's a bit annoying, because I obviously didn't bank on Pulisic being called up for international duty, but um, in terms of actual first teamers, it's not too bad. We're only really losing Christensen and Sapanara. But um, Penurando's on the bench normally, and we'll be missing him as well. And uh, Artem Fraser is a sort of utility player, so I'm not too bothered about that. <coughs> so, to be fair, I, uh, I did have cash left that I had no real use for. So, I could at least have a look at what he wants, but I'm probably unlikely to give Mings his wage increase. So he's currently on 6.6. .6. He wants 9k a year on a one year deal. Shut the fuck up, Tyron Mix. I'm not giving him that. He's still got two years to go. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, get, I'll just get him on a deal line or some shit. Let's just check who is out of contract, actually, while I'm here. We've got Cargill, Richardson, who's currently on loan. I probably will renew his contract. Just depends on what he wants. I'm not giving him three years, but I'll, uh, I tell you what, I might as well wait, because um, he's not going to be going anyway, he's under 23, so no one will sign him in January, and uh, I'll just see how he gets on on his loan fee, but most likely I'll keep him. Harry Arter, I'm in two minds of all, I do like him, he scores vital goals, he's already got one this season, that uh, technically kept us in the cup, but he wants an extra 3k, 15k a week, where he's a reserve. He's only 27 now, and he's 75 rated, so he'll probably go up again. He can also play in calm, he's got a 5 star weak foot, you know. I don't know, I'm really in two minds, let's have a keep Harry Arter. Fraser probably will keep. Um, fuck, I'll sign Fraser up now. So he's got a lot of potential, I don't play him a great deal, but he will go up a few ratings this year, I imagine. But I'll just get him on a one year deal. Important first team player. No. I'll try him on a squad rotation. Uh, he'll probably play in like the checker trade trophy or some shit. Gosling, I'm thinking I'm going to let go, actually. Pew, I'm going to let go. In fact, I tried to use him as part of a, a deal to sign Perlo's regen, of course. So, um, yeah, I think the writing's on the wall there, Pew. <laughs> Bailey Cargill, probably will let go, but I'll see how he gets on as low. So, um... That's good to see, though, that no major players really are on uh, contracts up at the end of the season. We have Boris, Steve Cook, Cardenas, and Mings out next year, but the two Cooks here. How many fucking Cooks do I have? I didn't realise this guy, Tyler Cook. A lot of players, it's all about the next year, really, where we have a lot of first teamers there, as you can see, likes of George. Uh, Ricardo, Klosterman's only on 8k. Holy shit, right. Straight on this shit. Right, I'm getting Klosterman for another year because it's only an extra k. I don't mind paying him that if I uh, gab him for another year. Get in, Lucas. I'm, happy, I'm, I'm well happy with that. So a lot of these boys, you know, Lexi Jory, well, he wants no increase in wage. I feel harsh just giving him that because he's so good, but Again, Telemans, I'll offer you an extra year, for sure. It's worth checking these boys out. Hernandez, he's always going to go up in rating, so it's never going to get better. I'm just going to continue offering some of these guys extra, actually, so I'll get him on a crucial one, of course. Rash, I've only just signed up. He wants, uh, that's concerning, zero extra years on his length. Right now, it doesn't look like he wants to stay on beyond. Uh, four years but who knows you know four years down the line he might change his mind <laughs> or perhaps sooner 
Yeah, we have Romano for years. As I said I did offer him a deal. He's on all the fives. 75 rating. Um, Davide Romano just gets better and better. Is that your free finishing? Not realise. Maybe we should play him up front, actually. Whenever I do bring him on. His stats, even though it says he's not capable of playing that position, his stats seem to indicate to me that he can, because he's reasonably quick and he can play up top. So, uh, right, it's just three games in, but I will show you the league table just before we finish the episode. And uh, then show you who we play next episode. So, as I said, um, I call this Sassuolo, Gala, Stoke, and Lille have all won each of their games. Sassuolo are actually smashing it so far. They've scored nine in three games. And uh, we've got a lift to seven already. Pretty good going that. We've only scored three in three games, which might be a concern, I suppose. We didn't score in Sevilla, Sevilla either, but we did manage three against Locomotive, so. I'm not too worried. We've got six goals in five games this season, and uh, it'll get easier once we we get used to some of the newer players. So you know, as long as we're winning, I'm happy. Um, the other promoted teams aren't finding it quite so easy now. Then actually, <laughs> if I do better than them, I'll be happy. Newcastle, a tenth. Deportivo, a fifteenth, and Cologne, who actually won all league last year, eighteenth. So. Yeah, yeah, boys. We, we've uh, we started well. We're unbeaten. We've taken our end of the bargain. As you can see, the side that we drew against Fenerbahce aren't doing too badly either. They're on nine points, uh, four out of nine available. So, what man? What they're on nine points? They're in ninth place on four points. There we go. Um, elsewhere, English wise, uh, Stoke obviously are doing well up top uh, along with us. Uh, we've mentioned Newcastle, West Brom are twelfth. Watford at 22nd, and uh, British-wise, Swansea are 16th, so a bit of a mixed bag for the Brits so far. I think it's far too early to look at other leagues right now um, and see how teams are getting on. Although, actually, I will look at one, because I am just... Because I got to know a lot of the teams, and I played them twice last year. I'm uh, really interested to see how the League, league 2 will go this year. Wow, Liverpool is doing top. Go on, boys. Wow, it's all changed. What the fuck? Has this league just been flipping its head? I'm glad I looked, actually. We're in Middlesbrough. Holy shit. It really has just been flipped. Genoa and Udinese were both in the playoffs last year. The 21st and 22nd haven't won a game between them in four. Middlesbrough are 13th. They did well last year as well. The teams that went down are sort of all up there. Uh, Crystal Palace, Augsburg, Sampdoria. And I think the other one that went down were Rostov, who are 20th, to be fair. But Feyenoord, top. Aston Villa, Boca Juniors, Celtic. They all finished bottom half last year. So did Anderlecht. And Hull. That's some weird shit. It really is a bit of a reverse league. RB Leipzig, the boys, are doing better this year. They're on four points. So, well, if I stay in League One, I might well see Aston Villa again. But uh, hopefully not. Yeah, it's been a good start to the thing anyway. So at the end of this episode, that's sort of the message. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the start that we've made in League One. Um, seven points. And uh, we've only lost one game all season out of five. And that was that game against Seville, which was a tad unlucky, I thought. So um, looking uh, on it... Um, before I do finish, actually, I wanted to see who we would have played. Ah, oh, well, this is a touch as well. So I've had a look at this. We actually, I forgot about this. Um, we're given a buy into the second round of the FA Cup. So, because we're in League One now. Um, normally in real life, if you're in League One, you do enter FA Cup at the first round. But because obviously there's no non league teams on FIFA in the English leagues, um, it's just limited to League Two in the first year. So. Looking at that in League 2, there are some League 2 to start by. We were just unlucky last year to get Double Tivo, who knocked us out. We were obviously a good team, because uh, they wanted to fucking get promoted. We would have ended up playing... Uh, one game stands out there, actually, United City's derby, but we would have ended up playing Burnley at home. We were in League 2, so I think we'd have actually beaten them. That's a real shame, though. We had a chance to go on a 
decent run in this tournament. And Sevilla, unfortunately, killed it for us. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it for the episode, guys. Um, next episode, as I said, I'll see you show we're playing. Uh, we play Hoffenheim away in the league. Then uh, Panathinaikos are home in the Czech Trade Trophy. I don't give two shits about this tournament. So what I'm going to do is put a lot of fringe players, you know, reserve players, even the likes of Harry Arter and Fraser can play in this one, for example. And uh, I'll sim it and just see how we get on. So who knows, we might win. Then uh, we have the transfer deadline there. I don't think I'll be doing any more business, but you never know. Uh, I really do doubt it though. If anything, it'll be more likely players go out. Then we have Newcastle at home, and uh, because of Sim, that one, I'll play this third game will be Olympiacos away. So, um, a big few games there. Uh, hopefully we manage to get some points. Two games away from home, one at home. Uh, looking to carry on our early promising run of form. So, uh, sorry, I keep going to stop. I just can't help myself though. I'll just quickly consult this because I just want to see show you as well. How dynamite side of Berrino has gone. Sapanara pissed it in goals in terms of the international cup, by the way, so don't be fooled by that. He hasn't actually done anything playing for me yet, unfortunately, but uh, he is obviously good, right? So Saido has actually got four in five games for me so far, but it was four and four until last game, and he's uh, he got an assist as well in the games I played. This guy is fucking dynamite. He's going up already. Really like him. So uh, thanks for joining us anyway, and uh, this is the end of the episode now. Uh, we'll be back very soon when we look to carry on or run in League One and um, see how we get on in it. Obviously, I'll check a trade trophy. Perhaps make another sign in or two. Who knows? I'll catch you guys later.